So I got an email from my dad, Swayzo. That's what he calls me. Swayzo, so you had a woke meltdown? When I first read this, I'm such an idiot. I didn't even think about like my channel or that it would have anything to do with a video I made and that it would be a response. I was just like, what? What? So he links this video, which now I'm seeing the thumbnail. So, okay, now I know what it's about, kind of. He says to go to about three minutes and 50 seconds in. Exciting. Actress destroys woke culture and viral video. Leftists are furious. <laughs> Hollywood exposed. Oh gosh, 10.9 thousand subscribers. Okay. You won't stop laughing at this one. When Aubrey Plaza did an ad for the Got Milk campaign, the internet absolutely lost its mind. People were either laughing at the sarcastic humor in the piece or downright furious. Obviously, the woke mob had to chime in too, and their meltdown was something else, and you don't want to miss it. I'm so excited to be part of the woke mob. <laughs> What's it like to be so brain rotted that someone disliking an ad is woke? Or just because I'm vegan, I'm woke? Okay, I'm not watching the ad again. I'm not doing that again. This was like a year ago, right? Right? Is this a new video? Yeah, three days ago. Okay, weird. I mean, whatever. You can make a video about anything at any time. Needless to say, the ad didn't sit well with everyone, especially vegans, and they were quick to attack Aubrey and the entire dairy industry. Not the dairy industry. Watch their meltdown next. So it looks like everyone's favorite quirky girl, Aubrey Plaza, shilled for the dairy industry. It was a complete mess, completely unfunny, and a real shame to see these celebrities sell out to this sort of stuff. Now, what's more weird? Uh, looking at a tree and wondering if you can, you know, create milk out of it, or looking at a cow and wondering if you can extract its secretions by sucking on its nipples. I'm not really sure. Like, I wonder how many celebrities they had to contact before her, because I just, I find it hard to believe that was their first choice. More so, I just find it hard to believe that any celebrity would go, yeah, sure, I'll shill for big dairy. Dear dairy industry, the bottom line is we're not going to just start liking dairy because you put people we like in your ads. We're only going to dislike those people. Apparently, woke people can't take a joke, especially when it challenges their rigid worldview. For them, this ad wasn't just a bit of fun. It was a personal attack on everything they stand for. They quickly accuse Plaza of promoting big dairy, supporting animal cruelty, and undermining the environmental benefits of plant-based milk. I mean, you'd think she personally insulted their families by the way that they are reacting. All of those reactions were like pretty calm, actually. <laughs> like really calm. Yeah, I think that's a, a bit of a stretch. But, you know, the, the reality is it's an ad. She literally was paid to promote Dairy, that's what happened. And dairy is cruel. So yeah, it's promoting animal cruelty. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry that's too woke for you. The attack was so massive that the comments of the YouTube video of the ad were turned off. And in addition to the comments on Aubrey's Instagram post, a nonprofit also filed a complaint to the USDA claiming that the viral advertising campaign disparaging plant-based milks is in violation of laws forbidding federal agriculture promotions from depicting products in a negative light, and their request was to take it down. Last I checked, the satire and parody are legal and protected under the First Amendment, so I don't know what this nonprofit was on here. So first, this has nothing to do with the First Amendment. The First Amendment doesn't mean you can say and do whatever you want without consequences. But yes, this is a real thing, and the nonprofit is PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And they say there were two problems with this ad. The first being that it violates the statutory prohibition against advertising that is false or misleading or disparaging to another agricultural commodity. And the regulatory prohibition against unfair or deceptive acts or practices with respect to the quality, value, or use of any competing product. Clearly the point of the ad was to make plant milks look ridiculous. If I remember correctly, it even ends with like, only cow's milk is real milk, something like that. And the other issue is when the ad came out. They say it also violates a federal law that says USDA milk advertising dollars can't be used to influence legislation or government action or policy. So this was around the time the FDA put out their draft guidance about plant milks, about companies being able to use the term milk, you know, oat milk, 
soy milk, whatever. So that was February 23, 2023. Then the agency invited the public to submit comments by April 24th, 2023, before final guidelines would be established. The wood milk ad campaign was launched before that comment period closed. On May 1st, 2023, the comment period was extended to July 31st. The wood milk campaign has run continuously since then. The checkoff is a government program. It is one thing for it to promote cow's milk. It is quite another thing to mock the products that many non-white Americans choose for health reasons. So I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if this really means anything, but I mean, certainly they put this ad out at the time they did because they were trying to influence policy. And certainly the ad is meant to deride another agricultural commodity. Whether that means anything will happen with this, uh, who knows. Even the FDA doesn't qualify these beverages as milk and they make it clear as daylight on their website, which states, quote, although many plant-based milk alternatives are labeled with names that have the word milk, these products are made from plant sources, not actually milk. Okay, but the FDA said you can't actually label it as milk now. So yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And it's so weird, like this clearly wasn't just a vegan thing. Like a lot of people were really turned off by the whole thing, just promoting the dairy industry. It's weird. The comments weren't turned off because of vegans. Like, I don't think there are enough of us to wield that kind of power. By the way, I've noticed that you haven't liked the video and subscribed to the channel yet. No, sir, I have not. The whole point of this ad was to start a conversation about the nutritional value of real milk versus other plant-based products. And I'm here to help them out because CNN did an article on this the exact same topic, and they quoted a study that, quote, analyzed nutrition labels and ingredients for 233 plant-based milk products from 23 different manufacturers and found only 28 of the beverages had as much or more protein, vitamin D, and calcium as cow's milk. That's actually better than I would have anticipated. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. You know, your regular almond milk is not very nutritious. And I love that the whole point of the ad was to start a conversation. The whole point of this ad was to start a conversation about the nutritional value of real milk versus other plant-based products. No, it's to promote milk, sweetheart. That's what ads do. <laughs> They're supposed to promote the product. I don't think the dairy industry cares about starting a conversation. <laughs> Let's look at this article, good or bad plant-based and cow's milk. I'm not seriously concerned about this as it's easy to get these nutrients from other sources and cow's milk certainly isn't perfect and infallible. But if a consumer thinks plant-based milks are a one-to-one -one substitution for dairy, many of them are not. That's true. So the benefits of plant-based milks, number one, you're not contributing to the dairy industry, which is awful. I talked about that a little bit in my last video answering 23 questions about veganism. One of the questions was what's wrong with dairy and eggs? Number two, environmentally, all plant milks are better than cow's milk. I'm sure there's something you could make a milk out of <laughs> that would be worse. I don't even know what that would be. Number three, maybe you're lactose intolerant or something, or you have a dairy allergy and you want something for your cereal or just something to drink, you know. But yeah, we should not be viewing these as one-to-one -one substitutes, most of them, especially when we're talking about children and feeding plant-based children, right? I would never feed my kids like almond milk or cashew milk as a substitute for cow's milk. They do not have enough protein. You want to stick to soy milk or possibly the pea-based milks like Ripple. And you also want them to be fortified, right? You can get a lot of soy milks like the Trader Joe's basic soy milk, which I really like for certain things, right? If I'm making something savory, it doesn't have any flavoring or anything, but that is not fortified with calcium or B12 or vitamin D. That's why I do agree with the FDA. Yeah, you can call plant-based milks milks, but they suggested to make it clear like the nutritional differences between plant-based milks and cow's milk. Oh, they've got Christopher Gardner here. Love Christopher Gardner. He was the senior author on the twin study, the recent twin study where they had one twin eating vegan, like a healthy vegan diet, and the other twin eating a healthy omnivorous diet. Not the documentary. The documentary is based on the study, but it's kind of shit, honestly. I have a whole video on that. Um, he's involved in the actual study. Anyway, he says, my initial response to the, oh my gosh, plant milks aren't as nutritious as cow's milk, is that it's bunk. None of the plant milks have cholesterol. They all have very low levels of saturated fat, and some of them have fiber. That's true. I can't believe I didn't even think of that. But yeah, there's no cholesterol. There's little to no saturated fat. And yeah, they have fiber. And you know what most American kids and adults don't get enough of? 
fiber. And when it comes to dairy and calcium, three quarters of the world is lactose intolerant and they get their calcium elsewhere. So it's really funny that he would quote this article. Like a lot of it is pretty pro, pro plant-based milks. In addition, there are milk alternatives that are good options for people aiming to reduce their calorie intake. That's true. A cup of milk is what, a hundred plus calories, something like that. A cup of your basic, especially unflavored almond milk is like 30 calories. I actually just had to buy some almond milk. They were out of my silk unsweetened that I use for coffee, cereal, everything. I do this every time. Every time they're out, I'm like, oh, man, I'll get some almond milk. Like maybe it's not that bad. It is that bad though. It's that bad every <laughs> effing time. It's always so watery. It's just expensive water with calcium and B12 and vitamin D. It's awful. <laughs> like I'm so glad some people like it and they're switching from cow's milk, but like it's terrible. Oh, Walter Willett, another heavyweight. So he said, some are quite low in calories, considerably lower than low fat milk. So if someone is looking for a white beverage that is low in calories, that may be a reason to look for a milk alternative. Further, for those concerned about climate change, the milk alternatives will be a better option. And in the long run, we can't have human health without planetary health. Very well said. I remember Jenny Messina, the vegan RD, she had a really good article from a while back criticizing I forgot who it was, but there was some big determining the, the best, healthiest diets, and they didn't take into account, you know, the environment, the planet. And she's like, you can't, you can't do that though. Like <laughs> planetary health is human health. So that needs to be a factor when deciding what diet is best. Okay. So yeah, they looked at a ton of different milks in this study, 170 out of 233. Uh, plant milk options were fortified with calcium. That's good. Also fortified with similar levels of vitamin D. That's my two-year-old. <laughs> the key takeaway is if you're consuming these because of a specific nutrient, you need to be reading the label because the products are so different from each other. Yes. Wow, they're even talking about uh, omega-3 in soy milk compared to saturated fat in cow milk. Like this is a really great article. Thus, soy milk will have a better effect on blood cholesterol levels and will likely be preferable for risk of cardiovascular disease. So they get to protein down here. They say on average, plant-based milks contain about two grams of protein. So yeah, significantly less than cow's milk. Best sources of protein were soy and pea-based milks and milk blends with protein levels between six to 10 grams per eight ounce serving. It is also interesting that the amount of calcium and protein are much lower in human milk than in cow milk, will it added, as human milk is usually considered the ideal form of, nu of nutrition, is there reason to believe that cow milk should be the gold standard? Honestly, I don't think that's a very good argument. Human milk is for feeding babies and babies have really high energy needs and children too. That's why it's like virtually impossible to not get kids enough protein, even on a vegan diet. They need so many calories for their little bodies, like they're going to get enough protein. But overall, I think that was a really good balanced article. If anything, it was weighted towards plant-based, not cow's milk. <laughs> kind of weird that he would cite that, although most people aren't even going to check it. So, But the main thing people like this do is they completely ignore why we are upset when someone like Aubrey Plaza, who should maybe really know better, shills for the dairy industry, meat industry, whatever. The animals, like animal cruelty. He didn't talk about that at all. The environment, no mention of it. It gets a lot harder once you do mention those things, right? Because then it's not a woke thing anymore, right? It's we have serious grievances with this industry. We're not just like pro plant milk because, because we just don't like cow's milk. Like it's just some random decision. It's just some weird, you know, dietary trend. Yeah, it's a lot easier to just point and laugh and say, oh, you're woke instead of actually addressing our issues. So a couple lesbians got mad. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm not a bigot. So like calling me a lesbian is, that's fine. The humorless left predictably don't get it. Again, on behalf of normal people everywhere, please go away now. I mean, the ad really wasn't funny though. Like it's jokes that we've heard a million times about plant milks. Like it wasn't anything new. I love this woman. Her movies are great. Yeah, a lot of her movies are really good. Um, I think she's in Megalopolis, which apparently is just something else. I can't wait to watch it. She was in a small movie a couple years ago that my husband and I watched. We really liked it. I can't remember the name. Yeah, I like her as an actress. I like her in interviews. She's super weird and dry and funny. Cruelty to animals, seriously. Do you know how uncomfortable cows are if you don't milk them? That's the real cruelty. Oh my God, sweetie. Man, it must be nice to be that oblivious. Like what does she have in her head when she thinks about 
dairy and how it's made. Does she actually believe in like the happy cow marketing stuff? You know, does she really think it's like green pastures and you just go out there with your bucket and like hand milk? <laughs> they are so sad that they can't see. It's just a joke. It's not just a joke. Like it's literally promoting <laughs> dairy. It's an ad. And aren't they the ones who get upset because like a transgender person talks about Budweiser or something, right? Don't they like ban stuff because, oh no, gay and and trans. I don't want to get too political here because I do think veganism is for everyone. I talk about politics sometimes on the channel and I certainly don't hide what I believe, but I also want anyone to feel comfortable going vegan. In fact, you know, it's really weird calling me woke and some of you who've been here a long time are like, okay, Black Lives Matter. I got in big trouble for like not being woke, you know, for saying vegans don't need to talk about Black Lives Matter. This was 2020 during the protests. I think veganism and other issues as well should be uh, narrow in scope, right? Veganism should be focused on veganism. But also I'm not gonna pretend this isn't just conservative slop. And it's a little hard when like some conservatives support a traitor to the country, you know, it's it's a little bit harder to say, ah, politics, let's, let's separate it. Uh, but anyway, that was my woke meltdown. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping it was something more exciting than that, something I forgot about, but no. But I hope you liked it. I hope that was at least a little bit fun. Um, please do like and subscribe. And of course, thank you to all of my supporters, my members here on YouTube, and my patrons at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog, and then I also do a controversial video. Speaking of not woke, I have one on intersectionality that is uh, not very, you know, positive towards intersectionality. The first one I ever did was on the BLM protests and crime, but that's the problem, right? People don't like when you're not on a side, right? Like you need to pick a team. So I'm woke, I guess. Anyway, thanks again, guys. New video soon.